Hi guys, Jeff with RVHelpOnline.com. Thanks for joining us today. I'm with a bunch of beautiful ladies that we always camp with. This is our this is our main camping group. We'll go around the table. That's my wife Nicole. We've got Katie, Nicole, Brooke, Jen the Gloss Boss, and Nicole uh, with Essential Oils, Young Living Essential Oils. So today we're talking about different things that help the ladies with their RVing. Whether they're brand new at RVing or they've been doing it for years, most of these wonderful ladies have been doing this for many, many years. And they're very good at what they do and they've come up with a lot of tips and tricks over the years on what helps them the best. So let's go and go around the table. This is going to be kind of an open forum discussion. Uh, it's very relaxed. Uh, so please enjoy the show and let's start off with uh, some different clothing items from Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do not speak well in front of a big group. So anyhow, my three essential tools are a hat, because then you can cover your hair on bad hair days, and something light in the summer days that if it gets dirty, you can wash it easily and hang it and it dries quickly, and a skirt. It has a print on one side and it is also reversible. And then so you have a few outfits for a couple days so you don't have to pack a lot of clothing. Nice. And they dry easily also. Yeah, so she and these are both from Costco. And they have inexpensive clothing and it's good quality. And if something happens to it, you're not super upset if you pay a lot of money because it's very reasonably priced. So Nicole brings up a great point. Uh, the main thing with camping is you got to think about different items that are going to be versatile in all different aspects, right? It can be very hot during the day. Today's almost 90 degrees, and this evening it might be down in the 50s. So you got to think of things that are going to be good throughout the day in layers, just like if you were backpacking or something else. Think about layers. Think think about things that'll be versatile. Uh, the hat is a great one, right? She she likes to wear hats while we're camping because it's not always the easiest to do your hair. Although, well, although, I think Brooke has some tips on how to make sure your hair always looks good. <laughs> Is that a good segue for you? Oh, that's a good segue. Sure. Oh, sure. I can talk about some beauty products that I'd like to keep in my trailer. The first one is, um, it's a brush that's a hair dryer also. So it's a space saver and it's a time saver because I like to be with my friends. So I like to get it done quick. <laughs> So I like this a lot. It's a Revlon. It's inexpensive and I use it at home and in the trailer and it's just easy. It, um, it causes Quicker. less frizz and mm -hmm. yeah. And you can do a little shaping. That's but, right. Yeah. Yes. Where'd you get that? Um, I bought Amazon? this at Ulta. Oh, Ulta. But yeah, you can probably find it on Amazon. Um, a couple other things I really like, a tinted moisturizer, a good tinted moisturizer, and it's an SPF 50. So it just, it's color correcting, anti-aging, hydrating, and it makes me feel more confident and look better. I also like these makeup removers because they're very easy to store and easy for camping even if you're in a tent. Um, and then I like this. Um, Chic Intuition Shaver because I don't need shaving cream. It's just all built in um, and it's just really easy. That's awesome. Do you know, um, so are you able to use those, most of those dry camping, right, as well? Well, probably uh, not Probably a generator for the brush. Yeah, sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's another thing to think about too is things that you're able to use uh, any time of camping you're doing, whether it's dry camping, tent camping, any of those items. Uh, we're very blessed with uh, being camped here. We have full hookups, so we don't need to worry about water and sewer, things like that. Um, but a lot of RVers, they love the dry camping out in the woods, things like that, where you're away from everybody. Um, and with a simple generator, uh, you could run any of these products and still be looking great for everything that you want to do. Um, so obviously we've got a lot of clothes, we've got a lot of stuff. Katie, do you want to talk about some organization items? Sure. So baskets for any of your cabinets um, are super helpful. Um, not only when you're on the road, things get clanking around, but so that you can grab something super easy. Um, I personally like to take all the dimensions. Um, so we got a new uh, trailer last year and I measured all of the different cabinets and then took those measurements to Ikea and then if I didn't have luck there, Dollar Store or Amazon, I know that this is where these guys got these ones. Um, it's super nice, um, especially the wire because you can see in it. Um, I'm only 5'3", <laughs> and so reaching tall um, cabinets and seeing what's in there. 
um, it's nice to have um, either clear or wire baskets. Yeah, and that's a great point too. Like that uh, particular basket she has is our spice basket. So we keep all of our spices, our oils, anything like that that we may think we need camping and we leave those in the trailer all the time, all year long. Um, those things, they don't expire and if they do, they're very simple and cheap to replace. Um, that way we aren't having to haul so many things in and out of the house whenever we want to go out camping. Most of the stuff we already have loaded and all we really need to focus on is clothes. Like we talked about with Nicole's stuff, the, the stuff that you're not too worried about getting dirty if the kids are out playing in the dirt. It always seems to be dusty or the dogs. And then um, just keeping those items handy so that you aren't worried about, oh, did I remember the pepper or the salt? It's already out there. Nice. Nicole? Yes, and I was going to talk about some cleaning um, products that I use. Norwex is a company that sells like an antibacterial cloth. Um, and so I usually throw in three to four into my trailer before we go camping. Um, I have one in the bathroom that I use to take off my makeup and it's just water and the cloth and I can take it off real easy at the end of the night. I have one that we use for our feet because when you go camping and you wear flip flops or your feet and legs tend to get dusty so I can hose off all my kids with one cloth and then just scrub them and they're clean for the night to get into bed. And then of course we keep one in the kitchen that we use for food products that get on the counters and we can take it outside and use it on our outside table and bring it back in, just wash it off and it's easy to use. So. So, and I'm not super familiar with the Norwex stuff, but I think it's lined with something to, that silver. makes it antibacterial. Is that right? Yeah, like a silver lining. It has a silver like a lining. Natural. So it's so it's a natural antibiotic or antibacterial okay. rather mm -hmm. um, that you can use. I think everywhere you guys use them all the time. I know, and a number of these ladies use them at home as well. I know we have a couple at home, but I still stick with my Lysol wipes. So. So <laughs> bad. I know, so bad, horrible. They're easy too. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we've got uh, a couple of very famous people in the Canby community, uh, uh, Jen the Gloss Boss and Nicole uh, with her Young Living Essential Oils. I'm going to let both of them take a minute and talk about both of their products. At the end of this video, I'm going to go ahead and link to each of their websites or Facebook pages. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, I know that all of these ladies use all of these products on a daily basis. Um, and I encourage you to go and visit their websites, go and check out their products, and if you're interested in purchasing any purchasing anything, please get a hold of one of these ladies. I know they do a great job and I know, especially my wife for sure, she loves both of these products. So I don't really care who goes first, but one of you guys can talk about whatever you'd like to talk about. Go for it, Nicole. Oh, good. So we use a ton of essential oils when we are camping. Um, we make our own bug spray, so it doesn't have any of the toxic, toxic stuff that you're spraying on yourself. We just use a little bit of peppermint and purification and citronella in a little spray bottle and just spritz it on our bodies and then you smell good too. Um, the other one, <laughs> the other one we use a lot is lavender, not only for our little travel orb diffuser that we can plug in anywhere. It has a USB plug-in. Um, I use it in my car, but then I stick it in my cabin or camper and it makes everything smell good after everybody's bodies are all cooped up in one small place. <laughs> so we use lavender a lot. That's really relaxing for people, especially at nap time. And then we also use lavender for if we get sunburned, it's really soothing for the skin. So that's a kind of a double duty one. Um, lavender is also used on a lot of scrapes and owies. So we have a big owie roller with lavender and helichrysum and tea tree in it. And we've had to bust that out too many times on this trip so far. <laughs> lots of bike trails, lots of kids. So um, the last major one I use is probably um, my patchouli and frankincense because I put those on my face daily as a cleanser and natural moisturizer. And then I also just smell good all day with them on. That's awesome. So those are our favorites. Very good. All right. Okay. Hi, I'm Jen, and I the gloss boss. The gloss boss, <laughs> and I'm an independent distributor for a company called Senegents, and they specialize in long wear makeup. So one of their most famous products is Lip Sense. So I've got quite a few colors here, and the great thing about Lip Sense when you're camping, I just like to throw on a little pop of color while I'm out and a little sweaty. Makes me feel like I kind of you know, did something for the day, or maybe people think I may have actually showered when I didn't. <laughs> um, but the nice thing about this is that it does last a long time while you're camping, and it also acts as a protectant from the sun. 
um, so you can avoid those sunburned lips that sometimes we get, especially in Oregon when we're first exposed to the sun after a really long, um, monotonous winter. Um, they also have other products that are great. They have a long wear mascara, um, and I wore mine for two days without reapplying, um, and it's great. It's, um, it's super easy to put on, and sometimes with my mascara before I used this, I would sweat and be kind of sticky, and I'd always wake up with the black mascara kind of underneath, you know, you look like a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> is that a raccoon your campground? No, this is me. I am a watching my face. I couldn't find my Norwex plug this morning. <laughs> um, so this does not run, so I love that about this product. And they also do a long wear eyeshadow called Shadow Sense, and Onyx is a really great color. It's, it's black. So, is black a color? It is. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I use it for eyeliner, um, it stays on all day, and it, they have a ton of different colors. And if you're not much of a um, lipstick color girl, we have tons of glosses that are great. They're super hydrating for your lips. They have shea butter in them, and um, they come in tons of different tints. This is um, like a red tint with some gold glitter. It's one of my favorites. They have an opal gloss, which this lovely lady over here is wearing right now. <laughs> and then your basic glossy gloss, and I wear this to bed too, and it's super hydrating. So, yeah, that's just a little bit about about the products I use. Awesome. Super easy for camping. That's awesome. Uh, so I think all of the ladies are wearing most of the products, or using most of the products that we've talked about today. And this certainly isn't a sales pitch, but I encourage you if you guys are looking for any of these products, or you guys are having problems with your camping, or you're brand new to the RVing or the camping lifestyle. I encourage you guys to go and check out any of these products. I'll link to any of them on our Amazon store. Um, I'm also going to include a link to both Nicole and Jen's website or Facebook pages. Um, please go visit those. Um, ask them any questions you may have. I'm certainly not an expert on the makeup and the essential oil <laughs> stuff, but that's why I'm going to refer to these two. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for visiting us today. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Uh, and if you haven't been to our website yet, it's rvhelponline.com. We have lots of content up, uh, anything from the beginner to people that have full-time for longer than I've been alive. So uh, <laughs> please go visit and uh, take care. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and take care and safe travels, guys. Bye. Bye.